Hi, I'm Rachel from Minerva, and in this video, we're gonna take a closer look at Patterns by Stylark and check out Minerva's top picks from this fantastic brand. Stylark is an Australian pattern company that allows you to create your own style so that you can stand out in the crowd. Why spend lots of money on designer or boutique garments when you can create your very own wardrobe using their up-to-the-minute patterns? Stylark specialises in fabulous, easy-to-wear feminine styles, which I will be focusing on today. But if that's not for you, it's still worth checking out their range for stylish hoodies, t-shirts and coats. They also have a really cute kids range. And you get an upgrade from the tissue sewing patterns Stylark uses 60 GSM weight paper so that you can use them again and again. With a construction sheet, fabric estimates, notions, colour-coded sizing and your sewing knowledge, there's everything you need to sew your fabulous new outfit. First up, we have the Montana Midi Dress. This is such a comfortable and versatile dress and it's really perfect for any occasion. It's super simple, there's no fastenings to deal with, no technical bits, it just pulls on over the head. And also the pattern includes extended shoulders, so you don't even have to do any armhole fitting. It's got this flattering, loose silhouette, and it can be worn with literally everything from trainers to heels. The skirt has these lovely slight gathers that fall from the high waist, and most importantly, it has pockets. <laughs> But best of all, this is a no-fuss dress, which could be sewn literally in an afternoon. And as with most patterns, there are two sizes available, so always double check that you're buying the right size. And we can actually see the Montana dress in action here, in this lovely check design from our Minerva community member, Jessie May. I absolutely love it. It's fresh, summery and chic. Now, I've got two fabric suggestions for each one of these patterns. I've tried to go for two contrasting ones to show you. So first I've got this John Caldor Peas Blossom, which is a beautiful, high quality crepe, really lovely, thick crepe that doesn't crease easily. And I'll show you more closely here as well. Or if you prefer a more comfy jersey for your dress, I've got this lovely a viscose stretch knit in a lovely multicolored floral pattern. You can see it's got a real heavy weight to it, be really flowy and floaty, but also it's weighty and would feel really comfortable to wear. And I'll show you those two more closely here. Here's the design closer up. As you can see, it has a really lovely weight and structure and feels so much thicker than it looks as well as this classy red, it does also come in a teal colourway with a pink toned design. Just lovely, like little autumn leaves. And it's a crepe, so there's not much fray on there either. Lovely to work with. And here's the viscose jersey stretch knit. It's so soft, stretchy, and would be so comfortable. And it has such a satisfying weight to it. Look at it billowing. And there we go. Such a lush weight and drape. And look at that beautiful multicolored floral design. It's similar to the dress I'm wearing today, actually. It's jersey, so it doesn't fray. And has a great stretch recovery. And there we go. Either of these would take you from day to night in comfort and style. Next, we have the Blair shirt dress. Smart, casual, a bit more challenging. You've got a collar, buttons and buttonholes, and pockets, hooray! Everything should have pockets in my opinion. But still that simple grown on sleeve, so no armhole fitting to contend with again. And there's also this lovely flattering seam under the bust. As you can see on the shirt version pictured, you can take advantage of that by changing the direction of your design of your fabric, or even using a completely different fabric. It's a great opportunity to bring your own design ideas to the garment. So for a size 12, you'll need approximately two meters and 11 buttons for the dress or 1.5 meters and seven buttons for the shirt and just less than half a meter of interfacing for both. I've got some fantastic examples of the Blair pattern from our Minerva community. First, this super chic monochrome look by Izzy from Commissoka Mika. 
I love that the stripes change direction just below the bust seam. And a fabulous shirt version from Geo, who's actually added long sleeves and used a striking colour palette to create a really eye-catching garment on the bucket button placket and the sleeves as well. So I've got this beautiful shirting fabric with a striped design. It's just lush. Look at that colour palette there. And I'll show you that closer up in a minute. And also this lovely Rose and Hubble cherry print pattern in a lovely cotton poplin. And I'll show those close up here. Here's the stripe. Perfect for that 90 degree change in grain under the bust. It feels high quality and has that sheen that expensive shirting has, along with a surprising colour scheme. It is quite unusual, everything from blues and purples to yellow, pink, navy. Obviously it's darker on the back there. Even a deep orange in here too. So there's the edge for you to see there. It's light, cool, and really is uniquely stunning. It's smart, but showing a clear, creative streak. Or go cute and fun with this cherry design in 100% cotton by Rose and Hubble. This also comes in a white or black background, but I've gone for this lovely navy. As always, a beautiful quality of fabric from Rose and Hubble. Lovely to work with, drapes really well, has good structure and would be comfortable to, to wear. Perhaps combined with a plain red or plain navy, you could create a garment that's really original. Next, we have the autumn dress. A similar style at first look, but this dress has some unique design features that make it very different. There's the knife pleat down the front and then a crossed over knife pleat falling at an angle from the back yoke that really will make this dress stand out from the rest in your wardrobe. Again, we have that extended shoulder line, so no sleeves along with a stitched front detail, shirt tail hemline and inseam pockets. The pattern advises two meters fabric for all sizes and just 15 centimeters of interfacing. So in keeping with the autumn theme of this dress, I've chosen this lovely Robert Kaufman yarn dye linen in espresso. I love brown tones. They go well with my hair and skin color, but this actually comes in lots of other colorways. Definitely worth checking out the product page. Uh, because it's got a fabulous weight to it and that lovely linen texture and it's actually quite soft and we have some fantastic inspiration from the Minerva community for this dress uh, so we've got M. Barry Kenmare who's actually made the autumn dress in this very fabric but using the denim colourway and doesn't it look great and I just have to show you the detail under the collar there with a flash of rose and, couple, a rose and hubble floral cotton there. And you can see that lovely directional pleat too. And for something completely different, I've picked out this sort of delicate needle cord with a really striking pattern. It's really thin for a cord and it does have a nice drape to it, even though it's cord, but then has a bit more structure to it as well. So I'll show you those both close up here. So first, let's have a look at this lovely Robert Kaufman linen. It's really easy to see, it's such a fantastic quality. I love the natural fibre texture of a linen look, especially when it feels so much softer than it looks, like this one. It's got a fabulous weight and structure and would hold those design feature knife pleats beautifully. There's the edge. As you can see, it's quite similar on both sides. And now for the dashwood needle cord. It's the perfect fabric for a seemingly simple but surprisingly unique garment like the autumn dress. A simple garment's always the best to showcase a standout fabric like this. It's got great structure for holding pleats and despite being a cord, it's very light and would be easy to work with. Just make sure you allow enough to cut all your pieces on the same grain. There's the edge for you. Isn't it just a luscious kaleidoscope? <laughs> Next up, we have the Nova Midi Dress, a slip-on sleeveless tiered dress that has a lovely boho inspired feel. 
I just love this one. Again, a really versatile look that you can dress up or down. And the double bodice with no fasteners makes this, again, an easy and quick make. Though it is rated medium here, so perhaps slightly more complex than, say, the Montana. And if you prefer a shorter style, you can simply, simply leave off that bottom tier and just be sure to check that the length is right for you. And inclusive of all sizes, you need 3.1 metres for the longer version or 2.1 metres for the version without that bottom tier and just 15 centimetres of interfacing for around the neckline. Now, I would highly recommend checking out the product page for this pattern because there are so many fantastic versions of this dress by our community makers. I have picked out this lovely bright pink by Crafty Bird, as that was a top one for me, made with uh, Art Gallery Fabrics Mara Cotton Poplin, cotton poplin fabric. Uh, now, I have gone for this lovely soft and drapey peachkin fabric. It is a John Caldor, so it's a beautiful quality. Really drapey, uh, doesn't have, feels like it won't crease. It's got that lovely crepe quality and would be just a dream to sew and wear really good for a flowy dress like the Nova Midi. Or alternatively, I've got this really beautiful Lady McElroy a Visco Chalice, so it has that lovely Visco Chalice drape in this really funky, almost mesmerizing retro pattern. And I'll show you those both close up here. This soft and drapey John Caldor Hermione crepe peachkin fabric features a beautiful design in a turquoisey green and coral or it actually also comes in a striking pink and purple colorway too the weight and handle of this fabric makes it ideal for a flowy dress like the nova midi and there's the edge for you there not too much of a fray as it's crepe alternatively I absolutely love this retro 1960s feel Lady McElroy Visco Chalice and if you go to the product page for this fabric, you'll find community members pairing this with loads of other really interesting fabrics, all with fantastic outcomes. And I can actually see this dress working really well with different fabrics for each tier in either complementing colours or clashing brights. Either would be fabulous. Next up, there's something very high fashion about the simplicity of the Tony dress. Those wide sides drape and fall softly into that narrow hemline and the flattering collar sits high on the neck and then continues into a lovely flattering V insert panel. This is such a comfortable, easy dress to wear, but still with a designer look. So you need approximately three meters for a size 12 to 14, along with about 30 centimeters of interfacing. Now for luxurious comfort, this dress would be perfect in this high quality, viscose jersey stretch knit oh it's just got such a lovely weight to it and while it comes in lots of colorways i've gone for this beautiful deep bottle green for a, quite a chic look i just i'm really into colors that remind me of nature at the moment and uh, for a non-stretch equivalent i've got this drapey beautiful polyester crepe and this is sort of lovely natural colours as well. And I'll show you the pattern close up in a minute, but just to show you that gorgeous drape and it's, it's thick and it's got that lovely weight to it that will hold those beautiful drapes at the side. So I'll show you those both close up here. This is really a high quality jersey. The weight and handle just feel luxurious. And uh, if I do this, you can see how it billows, lovely. It has that great jersey stretch while retaining a fair amount of structure. And of course, one of the great benefits of a jersey is that it does not fray. There's a lovely non-fraying edge for you there. And let's just have a look at the stretch. It has a really good stretch and a good stretch recovery as well. It's quite a sturdy jersey as they go. And next, this soft and drapey polyester crepe fabric is also a fabulous quality. Although much lighter than the jersey, it has a really good weight and is lovely and drapey, but with a smooth finish. I also really like this big design and how it looks like painted brush, brush strokes. It also comes in a lovely colourway called wine with a sort of red background. And there's the edge of the crepe as well. 
another really wearable pattern, the Patricia Rose dress with a flattering V-neck, three-quarter length sleeves. We haven't seen many sleeves yet so far in this lineup. And that lovely central pleat coming from the underbust seam that gives this dress a structured design, but once again, with a comfortable fit. Again, relatively simple to put together, no fastenings, and the most technical parts being pleats, darts, armholes, and those lovely sleeve cuffs. And for a size 12, you need just 1.75 meters of fabric and 20 centimeters of interfacing. Now I've got a gorgeous, a fruity orange linen look fabric for this dress, uh, but rather than cotton, it's made from the fibre Raimi, which I'll talk about more in a moment. I'll just show you the lovely weight of this Raimi. There we go. Or for a 100% cotton option of a linen look fabric, I've got this lovely Avalon with a sort of lovely natural brown and red sort of poppies, they look like pattern on there as well. Slightly lighter, but still a lovely weight to it. And I'll show you those both close up here. So, rami is actually one of the oldest vegetable fibers. And you can see it has loads of structure. And it's been used for thousands of years for all sorts of fabrics, including Egyptian mummy wraps. It's strong, durable, bacteria resistant, and even more absorbent than cotton. There's the edge, making it a lovely, breathable fabric to wear. The way it's woven gives it that lovely linen quality uh, that is smooth and clean, and it has sturdiness that would hold that central pleat on the Patricia Rose dress beautifully. And our 100% cotton Avalon, which has this whimsical pattern with a delicious pop of orangey red softer and slightly more fluid than the rami. It also has that gorgeous linen texture. And there's the edge as well. I actually think both these fabrics would go really well together. And it would be in the style arc theme of using contrasting pieces. Perhaps the Avalon could be a patterned bodice with a plain rami pleated skirt. Next up is the fabulous Ariana dress, which can also be made as a really lovely bodice top. Very summery and cute with lovely buttons down the front, which is another opportunity to add your own sort of flair with maybe a contrast coloured or unusual shaped button, or as in the picture, a button that blends into the colour of the fabric you choose. Again, thank you Style Art for always providing pockets. I love these big square pockets on the front of the skirt there, which you could make in a contrasting fabric or colour, Style Arc has really got my brain thinking about any points of a garment that could be a design feature. So thanks for that, Style Arc. And it also includes a panel of shearing at the back. Now, shearing, if you've never done it before, is not as complex as it sounds. It simply involves sewing lines of elastic thread through the fabric, which reduces the dimensions and creates a stretchy gathered section. And the effect is a really flattering fit and it's really comfortable fit as well. And I can show you a really fabulous example of the shearing on this garment by one of our Minerva community members, Thready Set Sew, so, who's made an Ariana dress in this dynamic tiger print cotton poplin by Robert Kaufman. Isn't it stunning? I love it. And such a great fit and with lovely big pockets too. Now for my picks, I've got this gorgeous viscous chalice in a lovely summery cute daisy print pattern. It's so soft and it has a wonderful drape. I'll show you that closer up in a moment. Or if you like something with a bit more structure, I've got this 100% cotton fabric, which is lovely and soft and it has a really beautiful delicate pattern as well. And I'll show you those both close up here. This cute daisy print is perfect for making a summer Ariana dress or a bodice top version to go with your favourite jeans. It actually comes in three other funky colourways, green and orange, navy and lemon and pink and blue. But, and there's the edge there, but I've opted for this classic daisy uh, colourway there. As always, a beautiful drape and weight that you would expect from a Visco chalice. Now, let me show you this lovely 100% cotton design close up. It's a beautiful, delicate pattern of 
bees and butterflies in and around lovely calm coloured flowers. It's a medium weight fabric and very easy to sew, great structure. And just imagine the buttons that could go with these as well. I absolutely love this next one, the Armadale dress. Few pieces of clothing are more universally flattering than a retro fit and flare dress. And Style Arts reinvented this classic shape to feature a seam that just sits slightly above the waist, above the natural waistline. It blousons a little at the top and has a free falling skirt, beautiful. Has a neat little collar, uh, cuff sleeves, and you guessed it, pockets. <laughs> they all make this style a firm favorite. And for a size 12, you need 2.2 meters of fabric, half a meter of interfacing, and 10 buttons. Now, you can't get more classic 1950s vintage than a polka dot. And Rose and Hubble brings us this lovely design in a gorgeous cotton poplin so lush. This is such beautiful quality fabric and I'll show you that closer up here. Or for a more modern twist you could use something more like this polyester crepe which is super flowy and drapey in this lovely animal print in sort of flattering natural brown colours. Make sure I'm showing you the right side there because actually both sides look really nice. There we go and this is so flowy. I really want to be wearing that. <laughs> I'll show you them both close up here. So there's that lovely polka dot. It comes in lots of colourways, including red, blue and pink to suit your vintage style. Rose and Hubble cotton is a firm favourite, always great quality and easy to work with. You don't get much fraying, there's no stretch to consider and it has a good structure too. And on the other hand, this lovely animal print design is such a dynamic contrast to the vintage style of the Armadale dress and not something you often see in the shops. It's so light and floaty and would be a slightly trickier make, but so worth it to have the swishiest skirt with this fabulous print, which is almost double sided. It looks very similar on the reverse and there's the edge for you to see too. This sophisticated midi dress, the Asher, will effortlessly elevate your wardrobe. It has a slightly blue on bodice and a lovely flowy skirt which falls from that sheared waistline. And there's two bodice options, one to use with the feminine sort of sheared cuff long sleeve or simply a sleeveless look. And I love that curved hem which gives this pattern its very modern feel. Time and again we see style art giving us high-end simple chic but never at the cost of comfort. Now for a size 12, you'll need 2.9 meters for the long sleeve or 2.2 meters for the sleeveless version. And I have got a gorgeous example of the long sleeved Asher dress by Minerva member, Rosemary Aqua. I absolutely love the floral fabric and it's such a flattering fit. I'm gonna have to practice my shearing because I really want to make one. Now for my picks, I do like a subtle animal print and I've been inspired by Thready Set Sew's Asher dress. So I've picked out this lovely viscous crepe fabric and that's got a lovely drape on it. And I'll show you that gorgeous highlighted sort of tiger zebra print pattern close up in a second. And my second option is another viscose chalice. You can't go wrong with a viscose chalice for a gorgeous drape. And this one certainly has that as well with a really sort of chic monochrome pattern, which is quite delicate and I'll show you that more closely here as well. So closer up, you can see that lovely tiger print design in like a deep coffee brown with those gorgeous cream highlights that really give it some depth. It is lovely and drapey and beautifully thin and light enough so that it will gather perfectly on, on that sheared waist whilst also giving that flowy skirt and blouse on top and sleeves on the Asher dress. A look at that. And there's our edge, and you can also see the reverse there too. And there we go. So not much of a fray on this one. Now, I absolutely love this monochrome pattern. It's contemporary, but the design is still really lively and fun. 
but if you like a bit more colour, this does also come in a lemon and navy colourway or mauve and white, and all three are lush. You just can't go wrong with a viscose chalice, really. Look at that design. Obviously, it will fray, uh, but just finish your edges with an overlocker or a zigzag stitch, or however you finish your seams. Last, but by no means least, I'm showing you the sunny top. This is one for everyone. Such a cool design, and that oversized cocoon shape is very flattering and on-trend look. Again, we have a simple gar garment elevated with interesting seams there, allowing for colour blocking the different sections if you want to add your own touch. And it looks so comfy. And you need just 1.4 metres of fabric for making a size 12. Now, how about this Atelier Brunette fleece back fabric? I'll show you the pattern. It is so lovely and soft and comfy. This would make such a lush jumper really comfy there or alternatively I've got this equally gorgeous ochre French knit terry I'll just show that for you because this one has a slightly heavier weight to it and a little bit more stretch and it has that that almost buttery quality that some fabrics can have really really soft and beautiful and I'll show you those both together here now so here's that Atelier Brunette fleece back fabric. Again, we've got an artistic contemporary design that reminds me of sort of little fruits with the leaves still on here and there. It also comes in this same design with a cream background. It is soft and stretchy and would be very comfortable. And though it's fleece backed, it is still relatively thin and not too bulky. And there's the stretch on there as well. Lovely. Now, the French Terry Stretch Knit. This one is so soft, with a bit more stretch and slightly thinner than the fleece jersey. You can see it's just so fluid and luxurious, and once you'd made a jumper in this, you wouldn't want to take it off. <laughs> I actually love these two fabrics together, and there is similar enough weight for it to work with perhaps the top section in the fleece backed and the ochre for the sleeves and bottom piece. Style Arc has just got me thinking like this now. <laughs> so there you have it, Minerva's top picks from the fabulous pattern brand Style Arc. A big thank you to all the community members I've featured in this video. Your inspiration is priceless to us. And I'll link to their profiles below so that you can easily check out all their other projects. Now, if you have a favorite Style Arc pattern, below I'd love to see them and equally if you have any questions about anything that I've mentioned in this video comment below and I will get back to you if you'd like to see more videos like this you can click the follow button and if you'd like to save this video you can click on the save flag if you'd like to follow me I'm hair and needle and I'll link to that below as well where you'll also find links to the product pages of all the fabrics and patterns that I have used in this video finally Thank you for watching and whatever you decide to make next, happy sewing.